kilowatt lighting. Here we go. Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Dream Studio. This time we're doing a product introduction. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay everyone, we are back on Kilowatt. If you've been following my videos, you will have seen a full build-up tutorial on this life-size kilowatt from Batteries Not Included. This is the dad. So in that video, I did a full build-up, a full paint-up, and I did some electronics. I did the eyes, I did the side antennas, and I also did the rotating core effect, the ring on the bottom, and I also did strobes. So I'm playing a little bit of video on that so you can see what I did. What I did not do is a mid-ring light. This whole ring lights up and there is a ring of red blinking lights, randomly blink blinking lights, here on this top ring. Since that tutorial, Voodoo FX has developed an amazing light package that takes care of all of that. It actually retrofits components of this lighting that I didn't do, but now I can do it without taking this model completely apart and starting from scratch. But these are retrofits. You can fit these to my resin casting. You can 3D print this model as well. They'll fit just fine. But with the resin casting, this is the way to go. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna install zone one and the mid ring light in this video. All right, this first effect I'm showing you is the upper red light. This is referred to in Randy's package as zone number one. We'll be installing this in this video. Let me power this guy on. So you're gonna notice that we've got random blinking. This is a strip, it's a micro LED strip. I think he said something like there's 54 LEDs in this. We have seven lights that are on at any given moment randomly and it gives you that random blinking effect. He told me that he animated this, he programmed this to match what we see in the movie. So let's take a quick look at this effect. It is so cool to watch. And this is micro strip, so we're going to be able to install this in an already assembled model. It's like a magic trick. This is zone two. This is the strobe effect. You can see the little Voodoo FX board. Basically, think of that as a mini computer. Let's power this guy on. So this is random blinking. So this is going to take care of your strobe lights that live underneath kilowatt. Okay, this next one is zone 3, core effect. Again, it's using this little micro board, micro computer. Let's power this on. And you can see that effect inside of that bottom core there is your spinner this last effect that I'm showing you today is the mid ring effect and this one will blow your mind this is the one I'm most excited about installing yellow is hot look at that effect you guys micro LED strip I don't know how many individual LEDs are on this. I'm going to guess 300. I mean, it looks like a solid light. If you look really close, this camera will not resolve it. But um, it's individual little LED spots. But boy, oh boy, it's one solid light. And it's like a noodle. So this is going to wrap around that bottom mid-ring on kilowatt. So essentially what I am installing today are these micro boards. Let's see if I can get both of these powered here at the same time. Okay, so here we have both powered at the same time. So I'm retrofitting the kilowatt that I built a few months ago with these two new effects. Um, so I'm excited to get these going. Let's take a look at the inside of kilowatt where I left off and show you how I'm going to splice these two new effects in. So on my kilowatt, 
I've got the antenna array as a separate part. I have this lid as a separate piece, and this is where these two new effects are going to go. The zone one and the mid ring light will install. I'll drill access points at the rear here, at the rear here. I'll feed those wires in, and what we're going to do is splice directly into positive, right here, these two, positive and negative. All right, let's drill our access holes into this lid. That's the front of the antenna. This only goes in one way. This is all covered in my tutorial. So we're going to put these access holes for these LED features in the backs. Right here for access. Zone 1 is going to come in through that access hole. Really tiny. But I'm going to feed this in. Randy was kind enough to cut these with a little bit of slack. So I've got a little excess. I'm going to do my best to turn this guy sideways. Not a problem. Okay, so that's what this looks like underneath. So this controller board is going to live inside under here. So I want to feed myself enough of this strip to wrap once fully. So I'm just going to wrap this guy until he meets. Ah, two more inches. Okay, there we go. So that is going to wrap all the way across it here there and then I've got my excess down here but from what I understand there is double stick tape on here so we're gonna expose that sticky layer and I'm gonna be very cautious not to get finger oils onto that adhesive backing and I'm also going to be very careful only to peel back the paper cover and not the silicon sleeve that's the back of this guy okay so there we go so here's our paper I'm going to peel him most of the way back actually I'm going to start from the Entrance. So I'm going to peel all of this paper away. Okay, get him off. And I think I'm going to grab a sculpting tool, a wooden sculpting tool. And I'm going to make sure this is hot. Looking good. Wrap it. That works really well. Seal up that end. Randy was telling me earlier today that if I had any kind of adhesion issue you can use a drop of hot melt glue. Just probably apply it with a stick, you know, just get a little piece of hot melt and kind of just dot, dab it on. And adhere just here and there. But yeah, I don't think we need it. I seriously don't think we need that. Let's go ahead and, and um, power this on and see what we have. All right. Look at that. Okay, same deal with the mid-ring light. We're coming in through the bottom. I see my access hole here. And I'm gonna feed, I think, this entire thing through here. The mid-ring light doesn't require a computer. It's just its leads. 
So that'll be really simple to tie in. And I'm going to rotate this light so that the business end is facing the correct direction. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's give it a test wrap. So I'm starting here at the back. I am wrapping that micro strip across. All the way across here. And we we do have some excess. About a, a little over an inch of excess. So I'm going to pull this through. Alright, just so I don't leave you too far behind on my progress. I put a little spot of hot glue here where zone 1 enters. And a little spot of hot glue here where mid ring light enters. So those aren't going to move on me in the future. If I ever have to replace them, they'll be easy to take out because of that hot glue. Okay, that's been on there for a couple of minutes now. I can come in here and do that same step of removing the self-adhesive tape and laying down mid-ring light. That is great. That is so much easier than I thought it would be. Just keep those contact points clean. Go slow. And there we have it. My next step is to use a quick connect so I can keep the lid separate from the top. I'll be able to disconnect it pretty easily. So these quick connects are pretty useful for that. I can just connect that there. Whenever I need to separate that lid and keep it completely a separate piece, I just disconnect it. So that will keep it a little bit more manageable. So I've already got one installed down here. So what I'm going to do is solder that point, that point, and then on the upper body, I'm going to solder this point and this point. Alright, let's go ahead and make our final connections, the quick connects. I didn't leave myself a whole lot of space here, so it'll probably behoove you to add on a little bit of a longer lead here for quick connect. Alright, so let's line this up, tidy up our wires, bring our lid back down. Oh yeah, so everything properly connected. I turned the overhead light off for maximum effect, but look at those animating red lights. Look at that brilliant mid-ring light. We've got our eye lights on, arm lights are on, strobes are on, rotator is on, bottom bubble is on. Wow guys, this is the first time I'm seeing this too, so this is really, really cool. Voodoo Effects delivers. So yeah, um, I think the last thing to do on this, and I will do it eventually, not in this video, but I'm going to be adding in fiber optics. I've got something I haven't shown you guys yet. It comes with the digital files, but these are um, cans. Uh, they're, um, what am I calling these? Fiber optic sockets. So in the next video, I'll be installing fiber optics using these. These come free with a digital file for Kilowatt and Carmen. I'm going to be using those to install some fiber. But boy, let's take a look at this guy. I'm going to bring this inside the house so we can get some better footage. And that will wrap up this quick install for mid-ring light, zone one animating lights, little retrofit on my previous build thanks to Voodoo Effects. That guy just works absolute magic with electronics.
I am loving this. Great job. This really brings this model to life. Okay, that wraps up this video. Guys, I appreciate your support. Feel free to leave a comment on what you think. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.